Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. One of the things we don't realize is that Satan is subtle. He's very slick. He's very crafty. He knows how to manipulate your emotions. He knows how to manipulate your thoughts. And you think the thoughts belong to you. But it's Satan blabbing in your ear. And you're owning it. You're owning it, wondering what's wrong with you. How could you have such thoughts? How could you have such dreams? Satan manipulates your emotions. But that's because we let him. Half the time we're letting him because we don't know. And God's word says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So I'm giving you knowledge right now. Know that when you get those sick thoughts, when you get those crazy, harmful ideas, when you get those murderous feelings, they're coming from an outside source. Recognize that. Don't own it. If the doctor tells you you got cancer, don't own it. If the doctor tells you you're going to die tomorrow, don't own it. No. You have a say-so in that. You and God. Same way with Satan. If Satan tells you to cuss somebody out, don't own that. Don't become one with the enemy. Huh? Don't, don't go there. Don't give place to the devil. He's, he's out of bounds messing with you. He's trespassing. So don't allow him. You know, the Bible says the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. He may means he's been given permission to devour. And many of God's people have given Satan permission. Do not do that. Don't agree with his feelings that he places in you. Don't agree with the thoughts that he manipulates on you. Don't agree with his ideas. Don't agree with his philosophies. Don't agree with him. Please don't do that. You have a father in heaven who is for you. He is with you. He's fighting the battle on your behalf. Why would you wave a white flag in front of Satan? Satan's not going to leave you alone. That's a lie from the pit. <sighs> okay. I don't know what to say because sometimes I feel like I've said it all with my 1,600 videos. But I don't know if you guys are really listening. I don't know if it goes in one ear, out the other. I don't know if you really believe it. But Satan is real. And Satan has planned to pull you out of the picture completely if you allow him, if you give him permission. He'll either take you and or your family members if you're not watching and praying over them, if you're not talking to them and warning them, teaching them what to watch out for, how to do battle for themselves when you're not around. Don't give place to the devil. There's a song. It goes like this. I'm not going to sing it. I'm going to quote it. Are we walking into the enemy's camp? Laying our weapons down. Spreading our armor as we go. Just shedding it. Leaving it on the ground. We've got to be strong in the power of his might. Prove to the enemy. We are the army of the Lord. And we've won the victory. Where's your armor? Where is your armor? Where'd you put it? Mm, come on, please. Stop being such a pansy and a pushover for the devil. You are not his mouthpiece. You are not his microphone and you're not his speaker. Do not quote what he throws in your head. 
Do not give place to the devil. Don't speak what he puts in here. Don't know. No, don't give him that. Don't give him the satisfaction. When he puts a nasty thought in your mind, you bat it back out. Thou shalt not tempt the, the, the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not touch God's anointed. Thou shalt not. No, I shall not die, but I shall live and declare the works of the Lord. You ain't putting that on me, Satan. Fight. Okay. I don't feel like begging tonight, so I'm done. But I sure hope the Holy Spirit has spoken to you. <laughs>